Well, if you're a fan of the world's fastest car show, you know how much I like Jaguar F-Type. We had such a good time in the Roadster earlier this year. But of course, now you have the coupon sale. And for me, it's definitely one of the most beautifully designed coupes of this year. But we're here, Monterey Peninsula, Pebble Beach weekend. And I've been given the opportunity to drive the US spec Project 7, which is on its release here. Now, it's very hard to come to a weekend like this where indeed some of the world's finest automobiles are and impress with something new. But with Project 7, I think that's a challenge worth taking. What's really exciting about SVO, Special Vehicle Operations, is that it's not just the innovation and technology and design they're going to put into the existing product range, such as F-Type, it's also what else can they come up with? How can they take Jaguar and Land Rover into the next century? We'll just have to wait and find out, won't we? Now, what's amazing about Project 7 is they've taken something that was already very stylish and sophisticated in terms of engineering design and then made it just that little better. First up, you can see quite obviously the advanced, enhanced aerodynamic aids. It's got carbon, carbon fiber front splitter, it's got the big rear wing and the rear diffuser. Under the hood, of course, you have that 5 liter V8, which supercharged, but now with 502 foot pounds of torque and 570. 75 horsepower, which certainly is enough to make it go around the corners and down the straights. But I think what's also really special about everybody that works at the SVO group is they are incredibly aware of the heritage of Jaguar. So everything about this car pays tribute to that. You have this tribute paint scheme and also the cowl behind the driver's head there is directly a link back to the 50s racing Jaguars. So it looks very cool. Obviously, it is very fast. And it's our time to go and head off and introduce it to the aficionados in Pebble Beach. Of course, pulling into the pit lane here at the Rolex Monterey Motorsports Reunion does give us a unique opportunity to look into the genealogy of Project 7. And it really, in alphabetical terms, all starts with the letter D. D-Type was a force of nature in 50s motorsport, winning Le Mans three times. And of course, the car was so significant. Some of the best drivers of the era won some of the hardest races, and it captured the sort of souls and minds and hearts of fans around the world. But it did more than that. It also set a series of design cues in place that would forever be part of Jaguar folklore. And then, of course, you have the E-Type. Now, as successful as the D-Type was in racing terms, the E-Type was an economic and cultural phenomena. Its style, its design is still as relevant today as it was when it rolled out of the gates of Coventry all those years ago. And talking about time passing, we'd have to wait a further five decades to see another front-engine, two-seater sports car from Jaguar. And when it arrived, it was known as the F-Type. <laughs> Which brings us back to Project 7. Now, before I take her out for a drive, just take a look back across six and a half decades of Jaguar design. Things like this cowl behind the driver. You can see it all the way back there on D-Type. Really gives you an impression of exactly where this fine car company have come from. All right, pulling onto the track here at the Mazda Raceway Laguna Seca. And of course, this is a pit lane that has seen some of the most frantic world-class racing action over the last 40, 50 years. And it's kind of fitting to take the Project 7 out here. Heading down into turn two, turning the car in, looking through the apex. Of course, beautiful power on the way out. But the relationship for Jaguar with the Monterey Peninsula goes back a long time. Can you believe this? In 1950, the 23-year-old Phil Hill picked up his XK120 race car in Coventry, and you can just picture him watching his car, his race car, load onto the Queen Mary. When he got here, he came to the inaugural 
Pebble Beach Road Course Race. It was a 2.1 mile, very narrow, twisty stretch of road right down there by the water. And he won it in his Jag. See, you see? A lot started that year, 1950. Jaguar and Phil Hill were about to have the most incredibly successful decade. Top of the corkscrew, down the gear, turn in, left hand curve, whoa, over the top, hard on the gas coming out, bloody marvellous, love it, woo! Project 7 came about as a project design and uh, I passed one of the designers uh, desk one day, he was sketching a D-type, F-type, I said we've got to build this or something like it, so we worked on it, we built a one-off about a year ago, we took it to um, Goodwood Festival of Speed as a PR exercise, bit of fun to show what a racing F-type might look like and it snowballed from there. I hope people driving our modern cars understand what we're really about. We're driver's cars, we're fun cars, we're a fun car company and Jaguars are very special, I really believe that. They're special to drive, they're special to look at, they're special to own.